Hello. What's going on? What's up? Mr. Kuhn? All right, we're going to give probably like two minutes, see who shows up, but we'll get going here pretty soon. What's up, Donnie? Unmute yourself, man. What's up? Oh, my fault. What's up? How you been? Good. How about you? It's all good, dude. It's good to see you. Yep. What's new over there? Not so much. You've been grinding? Yep. Good stuff. What have you been working on? Uh, the pop times. Mostly in the receiving all that stuff. Nice. What have, uh, I guess, like, it's been a little bit since I talked to you. What have you, like, I guess, what's new since, um, I guess, like, last winter? Um, nothing much. I mean, I... I had like 10, 11 throwouts for travel and for school, three or four, I think. You're so. a beast. Good stuff, yeah. dude. Good stuff. Mm. Um, okay, we're going to start because I don't know who's going to show up. But um, a couple of things that I, I just want to run through. So what I'm planning on doing is is running these calls every Sunday. Um, obviously, they're optional. If you guys want to show up, you can. Um, before we get into the things that... I want to talk about um and i know this is corny and we're not going to do this every time that we meet but since you guys are some of the first guys in here i want to take a little bit of time like please introduce yourself um like i said this is corny and we're not going to do this every time um but another thing too the the, the reason that i wanted to hop on this first call today was like you guys are the first ones in this group um so i'm gonna rely heavily from you guys or I guess on you guys for feedback as to like what I should add, what needs to change, what's not clear. Um, and, you know, those of you guys that have worked with me know that like, I don't sugarcoat anything. So I, I want you guys to, you know, treat me the same. Like if something doesn't make sense, fucking tell me if you need something added to this program, tell me and I'll, I'll start working on it for you guys. Um, so I guess what I'm saying is like, just be honest. Cause I'm going to be honest with you guys. Um, so let's start with an intro. Donnie, I'm going to start with you, man. Um, if you can identify your goals for me. So like, what are you trying to accomplish right now? Um, tell me why you joined the group, what you worked on um, this week, and then something you would like added to this program. Okay. I'm Donnie. And one of my goals for this thing is get my pop time down to a 2-3 for one from 127. And... Wait, what were the other questions? Wait, get it down to it. Wait, what did you say? Get it down, or turn it like a two four. Get it down from like a or like to like a two four one or two three nine. And what are you at right now? Two four like six. Okay, cool. Uh, other questions were: Why did you join the group? What did you work on in your first week? And what's something you would like added? Um, what I worked on was like all the pop time stuff. I like just um, am I decreasing my pop time and like receiving any under the ball more? Okay. And uh, and um, the I forgot. <laughs> um, <laughs> what did you work on this week? What is something you would like uh, added to the program? Oh, I would add for like the drop your pop time thing. Maybe for like phase one, like add more drills because there's only okay. like one or two that I'm okay. seeing. So. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to start giving you guys like a weekly like workout for drop your pop. Um, and I'll start adding more drills to that. So thank you for that feedback. Yeah, you're welcome. Um, cool. Let's go to uh, Ian. You're up. All right. Am I on mute? Yeah, you're good. All right. Well, I'm Ian. Um, I've been working with Nick for a little bit. Um my right now I'm sitting at one nine one, so my goals to get down for a one eight eight for pop time. Um, and then doing everything. My goal is also to get a scholarship soon. And then no improvements with any anything I see. Um, I'm I'm liking the program a lot. 
I'm not accepting that answer. You got to like at least come up with something. All right. Um. Shoot. Get some mobility in there. Okay. Some more mobility, yeah. You got it. Um, what did you work on in your first week? Uh, this week I worked on mostly rhythm and receiving. Okay, cool. Um, sounds good. Uh, Dean, you're next. You got to take. You got to put your camera on. There you go. What's up? Uh, how you doing? Uh, my name's uh, Dean Reyes. Um, basically, uh, I, I like this program a lot. Um, my goals are to improve my pop time and just to keep getting more rhythm into it to get more uh, better transfers. And the uh, only thing I would fix with the program is just same, same thing, more flexibility and mobility drills. Okay. So Cool. Um, sounds good. Uh Connor, I'm going to let you talk at the end. So, Tyler, that means you're up. Can you hear me? Yeah, I got you. Okay. Um, sorry, I just got done with an inner squad. So. That's all but, good. Uh, my name is Tyler. I'm from uh, North Carolina, uh, Rocky Mount. Um, I go to North Carolina Westland University. Um, I haven't uh, done much stuff with uh, this program this week just because we have inner squad four times this week due to us we're we have a scrimmage against uh lewisburg next weekend so he's been trying to you know put in more game like situations this week so i haven't had much time doing anything um other than playing in games a lot so uh that's all i got that's good uh, and uh, one improvement thing um for the drop your time or to drop your pro or drop your pop time program thing uh for people that have already done it I think we should be able to get like the whole thing because on mine, I have to like go through week one, week two. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because I was going to do something like, um, like you know, like on an off day, like a Monday for us. Uh, I can do like week one and week three, kind of like com, like com, you know, combination of a little bit of both. Something yeah. Like that. I got you. Um, yeah, because the time unlocks. Because I don't want people just like coming in here and like screenshotting everything and then dipping, but. I will yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I I'll try that. to figure out how to like open it up for you guys. Let me make a note. Okay. Um thank you for that. Okay, there's uh there's Connor, like I said, I'll let you go at the end. So there's a couple things that I want you guys to know. So um going forward, like today's gonna be a short call. Um but going forward, you know, what I kind of want this to turn into is like, this is a time for us to go through, you know, whatever you guys need to go through. So I'm going to show you guys how um, I would like to do that. Also, did did you guys all download the school app on your phone? Has everybody got that? Yeah, I did. We're all good yes. on that? Hey! <laughs> Big Sam, you, I didn't even know you were here. You can go ahead and introduce yourself. Yeah, so I'm Sam from Boston. You know, I catch, I dabble in other positions, you know. Sometimes I'm my guy on the bump. Sometimes I can be head coach. Currently interim head coach at my high school because we haven't found a guy yet. Yeah. I, I, I also bring the boom. That's Hell yeah. a no fact. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Are you wearing sunglasses inside? No, they're blue light blocking glasses because oh. I spend so much time on the screen for, like, school and shit. Gotcha. So, like, my eyes hurt so bad. I have to look at the screen. So, yeah, and gotcha. they're pretty drippy, though. So. Okay. Yeah. Um, I have that on my phone. Okay. Is there anybody else that I'm missing besides Connor, or are we all good? I think we're good. Okay. Um, okay, we're going to go through a couple things really quick. And I'm going to be making, like, videos so that I don't have to explain this multiple times. Um, okay, so... When you guys are, these are the only ones that are released for you guys right now. The blocking masterclass, receiving masterclass, prop time program. Um, I'm going to be adding daily workouts to the pop time program, as well as like new drills for you guys that have gone through it. Um, this stuff's all being worked on right now. So what I want you guys to know when you're working through, let's say you're going through receiving. In a typical week, there's five days of work to do. You know, I know you guys are all over the place with like school and fall ball or whatever. Like, I don't expect you guys to get through a 12 week program, like strictly in 12 weeks. 
Um, but part of my job is to like, you know, there's a lot of guys in here with college offers. There's a lot of guys that, you know, are, are playing college ball and there's some younger guys that would like to get there. Um, I think something that these guys will tell you that have offers or are playing college baseball is like, you know, there, there's no substitute for being consistent and there's no substitute for, for reps like that. That is really what it boils down to. I know on social media, like there's a million coaches popping up everywhere with different training styles, whatever. It's all good. But if you're not working consistently, like none of it really fucking matters. Um, so part of my job is to keep you guys consistent. So the way that I would work through this, if, if I was you guys is start sooner rather than later, just because you started, doesn't mean that you need to finish in 12 weeks. So what you can do is let's say, you know, you decide, Hey, I'm going to start on Monday. Maybe I can get two workouts in during the week. Once you get through a full workout, all you basically have to do is hit this little green check mark. And now, you know, like, okay, how far have I gotten through this program? That way you're not trying to like figure out like what still needs to be done. What have you done already? Um, and that way you can kind of track your progress as you go through this thing. Um, does that all make sense? Okay. Um, so another thing, uh, in terms of like getting feedback from myself and, and from the group, we need to be good about how we are presenting our drill work, how we're presenting, you know, whatever it is that we're working on. So, uh, Ian, I'm going to call you out just cause I love you, but, um, Ian posted a video of his receiving work. He was the first guy to put up some drill work in here. We're just going to, we're just going to kind of pick this apart. So when Ian tells me that he's working on receiving, this is very like broad. Like, I, I don't know how long he's been working on receiving. I don't know what his cues were for the day. I don't really know what he was doing. All I know is he was working on receiving. So when you guys go to put something in the group, what I want you to do is make a note like, hey, this is from the three month receiving masterclass day two here's my drill work and then put it on a tab that way. When we come on for group calls, I can see like, okay, how far have you gone through the program? Like, where should you be at by now? Just so we have an idea of kind of what you're doing. Um, and I'll, I'll provide a template so you guys know how to post, but just make sure your title is like program day and then video. Um, everybody good on that. I'll keep going. If, if you guys, if anything doesn't make sense, just kind of chime in. Um, Okay, so second thing, when, <clears throat> when you guys upload straight from your phone, it kind of like, it just shows up like this. Um, and I want you guys to be able to like look at each other's shit and give each other feedback. So I don't like the fact that you have to like download it to your computer or to your phone. Um, I mean, it works fine, but this is something I'm gonna challenge you guys all to do. If you can embed this video in here, either with a direct link or a YouTube video, it's going to show up a lot cleaner. Um, so this is what I need you guys all to do. You're going to have to use some technology here, but you're all going to have to make a YouTube channel just under a Gmail and um, be able to upload video to here. So once, once, you're, uh, once you have your page, all you're going to do is press create. You're going to go upload a video. Um, you're going to drop whatever video you have here. Okay. Let's use this one as an example. And then when you go to upload this, no, it's not made for kids. You're going to get prompted through these windows. And then this right here is most important. Unless you want everybody on YouTube to see, you know, your video, your drill work, you're going to want to list it as private. Um, and then you press save. And then it should start uploading. Okay. So once it starts uploading, you're going to see like, okay, all of our drills are, are here. They're all unlisted. If you want to share this to the group, you're going to hit these three little buttons here. You're going to press get shareable link. And then you're going to go back to the group. And then the same way you would go to make any other post, you press add link. And then you enter. And then actually, you're not going to do that. You're going to press add video and then you're going to add your link here and then it should embed in there. Hold up. 
let's try this one. Okay. Um, so just to me, this is a lot cleaner. And then when we go to review all your videos on our calls, everything is there. And then you can say, Hey, this is from, you know, receiving masterclass, whatever, uh, day two drill X and then boom, what I was working on is this, what I would like some feedback on is this, you know, this felt good. This looks weird to me. Um, let's go over this on a call. So That is going to be best practice for putting things in the groups. Everybody good on that? Any questions? Okay, cool. Um, next thing, I had an idea. I think this will be a lot of fun to do. How many of you guys have uh, your, how many of you guys are playing fall ball right now? I am. Who said that? Connor? Uh, Tyler. Tyler. Okay, Tyler, you're playing. Connor, you're playing. Ian, are you playing fall ball right now? I just got done with fall ball. Okay, what about uh, Dean, Donnie, Sam? I just got done with school ball, like, a couple weeks ago, so. Okay. Um, Sam, you're not playing right now? No, I mean, I've had – I was hurt most of the summer then. I've just been going to showcases past two weeks and then – I should be committing within the next week and then oh, yeah. I'm going to shut it down for like my arm down for like a month. Okay. Um, okay. So then who's playing fall ball, Tyler, anybody else? Connor, you are. Okay. Um, Tyler and Connor, are your guys's games um, recorded or on like game changer or anything like that? Yeah. Mine are. All of mine. Are? For the most mine part. Are. We don't record ours. You don't record yours. Um, no. Connor, do you have access to your game changer? Yeah, I do. I don't okay, know so if we, we just played today, but I don't know um, if they got them today or not. Um, I guess this is a question for the rest of you guys. Do you guys have access to game changer from like this past fall or like past summer or anything like that? I do. Yeah. yeah? I, do. I don't yes. think I do. I have hitting videos that my dad recorded, but that's about it. Um, Okay, so I guess let me tell you my idea. So what I want to do is like for guys that want to show up or whatever, what I want to do is like take certain days of the week where we just watch like you on defense for an hour and a half and just pick apart everything you're doing, um, you know, just for a chance for you guys to learn and other guys in the group to learn. Um, so you guys with access to Game Changer, how does that work? Like do you have like a link or do you have to like log in? How does that work? There's a link. Um, There's most an app of the, too. yeah, you can just yeah, through the app. app. If you click, you can search through all the teams and kind of just go on the team link itself has videos, and then you can pick either the full game or you can see certain plays that happen. It just kind of clips them off. Okay. Um. So would I be able to like log on my computer here, like where you guys could all see it? You should be able to. I think the only problem is with the video, they make you have the membership or whatever to watch them or video or anything. Okay. How much is it? Like a couple bucks a month? I have no idea. Um, my dad has it just because he runs the game changer for the team. Um, okay. I have um, no I idea how much it is. When, when my team used to use game changer, it was like 79 for the premium thing. Okay. I'll look into it. Um, but yeah, I think that would be something that's really cool. Like we can just do like – game reviews um so does anybody want to volunteer to be the first guy to uh give a game changer link yeah i can do it yeah yeah okay let's do it um i'll be posting in the group we'll figure out like what day maybe we'll do that next sunday i don't really know but i'll let you guys know um but yeah connor you'll be up first that'll be that'll be cool All right. uh, um okay Uh, one more thing, like I said, I'll, I want to run these group calls every Sunday. Um, do you guys like have a time that I know Sunday nights is probably best for everybody, but, um, anybody have any times that they think would work better? Loki, this time I'm, I'm speaking for myself on this, but this time's kind of perfect. because like, I've already done all my homework. I got nothing else to do. Okay. I'll tell my yeah. girlfriends to stay home. 
I don't want to deal with you right now. I got I got a call. I deal with you other times. Yeah. Okay. Um, she can come over after. Or she can hang out while you hop on the call. Um, yeah. If you okay. just like play with my dog or something. I'll uh, we'll leave them on for Sunday nights because I think that's the like you guys are all over the place with like school shit. So Sundays will probably be good. Um, that's really it. B- biggest takeaways from this. Um, make sure you're like checking off, you know, your days in the program. Like, obviously I don't expect you to work through it in 12 weeks, but like, I'm, I'm highly encouraging you guys, like get reps in, get reps in, put it in the group, start getting feedback. Um, so yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty much it. I think the last thing I want to do is this is more towards the younger guys. Um, but Connor agreed to, to talk for a little bit. So for Donnie and Dean, um, just so you guys know, Ian Kuhn is probably going to go play baseball at, at a high level. Tyler Pegram is in college baseball right now. Sam plays college base or is going to play college baseball and commit within the next couple of weeks. Connor is already committed. Okay. So you're, you're sitting a bu- around a bunch of guys that are doing what you want to do. Um, so I thought it would be a good opportunity to, I guess, Connor, just talk as much as you want. Um, just about like your process and like, what you learned, maybe things you would have done differently, things that you did well, whatever. Um, and I'll throw some questions at you as you go. Hey, man. Um, so, yeah, I'm Connor. Um, I'm a senior this year. Um, I just committed about a month ago to Christopher Newport. And um, I did – I went through the throwing program over the spring season for school. So I went through – I think I started at – it's like a 194, 195 and dropped down to a 182. So, so even like with the numbers being uh, significant, I got a lot more comfortable through the throwing and also I've just been a lot more accurate, but um, yeah, I think the biggest thing for me is once I started the program, I had the motivation to go out and practice every day and get better. And that translated to weight room hitting. I mean, it just helped me with everything, but um, I'm excited to get doing, I just started doing the receiving stuff this week um let me ask you this connor because like you know when when i was going through it like there was a certain set of like mindset shifts that i had to like make if i wanted to play baseball in college you know that that was like you know sacrificing some relationships um building some other relationships whatever like if you could kind of touch on like what like what i guess what did you go through like from the time you were like a freshman in high school till this shit all kind of started happening to you, like what were some things that you had to come to grips with or change or, or whatever? Yeah. So definitely consistency. I mean, I would have, you know, days where you go out and go to school practice and you know you get your six or seven swings and do whatever. And you got to take the time and really realize that you didn't get better that day unless you go out and do something yourself. Um, so I'd always have to go and you know do something separate, which, I mean, in the end of the day, it's going to make the biggest deal. Um, just being honest with yourself, knowing if you spent your time wisely. I mean, if you don't get the work in, uh, just kind of happen to get it done separately. Um, but also, I think the effort level has been definitely changed. I mean, at one point, you know, you can you can do all the reps you want, but if you're not trying, you're not going to get anything out of the program. It's really just what you put into it. Um, and that I could definitely see that when I've worked with other, with other throwing, um, programs, you know, if you don't, if you don't put in the effort, you're not going to get better. It's just something you have to realize. And, um, yeah, that, but everything we have in the program will, you have every resource you need. You just got to put the effort in. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, just to like share with you guys, you know, the, the reason that I kind of shifted gears from drop your pop time to this is like. You know, you you could pop a one seven five, um, but if you don't have the mentals to survive at the college level, if you don't have the mentals to look a college coach in, in the eyes and shake his hand, like you're you're not going to play college baseball. Um, and a lot of that comes from your confidence. And to me, confidence always comes from like consistent effort. Um, you know, the, the the programs and the drills in here are not, you know, like revolutionary they're not going to make you better in one day what's going to make you better is committing to it every single day and and putting in the reps um 
So I guess that's the purpose of his first call. Get to work. Um, start posting in the group. Let's let's make this thing pop in, dude. I'm I'm excited, and I want to thank you guys all for for being here and being some of the early guys because I think this is going to be good. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. All right, fellas. I will um continue to communicate with you in here. If you don't have notifications turned on in your app, do it. Um, that way, when I post something, you guys know about it. Sweet. All right, fellas. I will uh, have a good week, and I'll talk to you Sweet, guys another week. Yep. Thank See you guys. Thank you. Thank, thank, you. thank you. Hey, that video should be fixed, by the way. You fixed it? Yeah. Did you upload it to YouTube? Mm-hmm. Okay. Hell yeah, you're a beast. Oh, fuck. Is everybody still here? Yes. Okay. I think we'll see uh, who? What do you say? Sam. That's okay. One thing I was gonna say: um, when you guys upload video to this, um, Ian, this is me getting on you again. But Ian just clipped up his best. Uh, hold on, my screen's not sharing. One second. Okay, can we see this? Yeah. Okay, so Ian kind of just clipped up like his best ones um but what i want to see is like i want to see your whole round like i want to see like your good ones your bad ones i want to see if you struggle with inside pitches outside pitches i want to see if you struggle with breaking balls um so instead of just showing me the good ones i want to see all of them sound good okay that's yes, all sir. All right, I'll talk Sounds to you guys good. later. Lesson learned. <laughs>